that was at the end of the Ice Age. Freezing plains were the home to huge herds of mammoth, but 10,000 years ago it all changed. Their world was turned upside down because of global warming. The ice was disappearing, and so were the mammoths. 150,000 years ago, the world was in the full grip of the Ice Age. Woolly mammoths were everywhere, from the west of Europe to the east of Asia. It won't be easy. You'll have to go back 125 million years to find one. Microraptor is only known in one remote corner of prehistoric China, a place of mysterious dinosaurs and deadly volcanoes. One million years, he will arrive at a time when the saber-toothed cats are in their prime, but the terror birds are on their last legs. What other creatures will he run into as he enters this extraordinary time in South America's distant past? At that time, the world was a very different place. Dinosaurs, birds and mammals had not yet evolved. Scotland was a hot, boggy swamp on the equator, full of primitive fish, amphibians and giant insects. Back then, North America was very different from today, split into three separate islands by a vast inland sea. The swampy coastline of prehistoric Texas provided the perfect habitat for giant crops. 